What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing, in my opinion, one of the coolest evolutions in the game, which is Glaceon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. Scroll down a little bit. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. But like I said, today we're showcasing Glaceon, the ice evolution here. And it really thrives in the hail. So it's going to be able to pair well with this Obama Snow on the team right here. But let's get started here with our team preview, starting with Glaceon right here. Expert Belt as this thing's idols, item, so super effective damage will be boosted. Every time we do a super effective shot, we'll do 1.2 times multiplier, I believe. It gets a nice little boost from a super effective damage. But moving on to its nature, it's modest to get that special attack boost. EVs for this guy is boosted in that special attack. Its special attack has a decent amount in speed, and then we gave it a little bit in HP to make it just a tad bit more bulkier. Ability for this guy is going to be Snow Cloak, so it can raise his evasiveness, inhale, and dodge some moves. Move set is going to be Ice Beam for Stab, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Shadow Ball for our coverage move, and last but not least, you gotta Rock Protect on this guy. Gotta Rock Protect. Love it so much. Next Pokemon on the team is Abomas. Now, you guys already saw this on the squad. This is Pokemon is going to pair well with the uh, Glaceon because it can just set the hail with its ability every time it swaps into battle. So we can take Weather Control, it can pair well with Glaceon, and just get thriving in the battle. We got Blizzard, Energy Ball, Protect, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. EV's first guy is going to be special attack and speed. He's here to do some big damage. He's here to outspeed some Pokemon. He's got the snow warning ability, obviously. And then he got that timid nature for a speed boost and that focus sash. So this Pokemon doesn't get one tap because, you know, Scissor can one tap it. Any fire move pretty one taps it. So focus sash is going to be really, really good for this Pokemon. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be the lovely Garchomp. Do I even need to showcase this guy? He is absolutely amazing. It's uh, it's a basic build for him. He's got the Yachi Berry. He's got the Jolly Nature. Attack, speed, sand veil. I should actually give this one rough skin. I probably should have gave this one rough skin, but it's all good. Rough skin would definitely be better, but then move set for this guy, normal. Sword Stance, Protect, Dragon Claw, and EQ. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Choice Scarf Gardevoir. And I've been loving this Choice Scarf Gardevoir. Outspeeds pretty much anything, and it can do a massive amount of damage with any of these moves. We got Moon Blast, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam all for our stab, and then our coverage move is going to be Focus Blast. EVs, Special Attack Speed, we're here to do damage. We're here to outspeed with that Telepathy ability, so we can't be hit by ally moves such as Earthquake. Nature for this guy is going to be modest to give it a special attack boost. And last but not least, the item, like we already said, is that Choice Scarf. I love this Pokemon. It's really, really good in a lot of different situations. So can't wait to show it off yet again in today's video. Fifth Pokemon for the squad is going to be Heatran. Heatran is just so good. Really good typing with that fire and steel. Gave it the Shuka Berry so it can actually eat up a ground shot. And then this thing has the modest nature with special attack and HP. So it's bulky. It can hit like a truck and just get after the battle that way. Ability is going to be Flash Fire. Then move set is going to be Flash Cannon and Heat Wave both for stab with Protect and Taunt to taunt opposing support mods. Last Pokemon on the squad. You guys guess it, it's the one and only Scissor. One of the best Pokemon in the format. Seriously, so, so good. Bullet Punch for first and priority and stab. X Scissor for stab. We got Sword Stance to set up and then Protect. EVs, pretty normal. HP and attack with the Technician ability alongside with Adamant Nature. And last but not least, that Life Orb for its item. Guys, if you want to check out the team, we got that Poke Base down in the description below. All the EVs, all that cool stuff is down there. But without further ado, let's hop on that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Glaceon doubles team. I can't wait to show off Glaceon in this first battle. A lot of you guys have been requesting Glaceon or some sort of EV evolution. So if you guys said that in my comment section, shout out to you guys. You guys really like pushed me to actually use Glaceon here. But I absolutely love this Pokemon. Can't wait to show it off. But guys, if you guys want to catch more content from me, make sure you guys follow my Twitch page. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is right on the bottom of the layout. And the link is down in the description below. Go hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. We go live five plus days every single week. Come hang out with us. Say what's up. We're going to be doing Legends Arceus, Series 12 Sword and Shield, and BDSP Viewer now. Get out there, come hang out with your boy. But this guy's got a really good team right here. Actually, a really, really good team. He's got Storm Drake, Gaston, T-Tar, which we gotta watch out because, you know, weather control is a big factor with him and me because I really want to get the hail. He's probably going to want to try to counter that with the T-Tar Sandstrom. But then he has uh, Arcanine, he has Scizor, Raikou, and Tangrowth. I definitely want to bring Garchomp just in case he wants to change the weather. And I don't really mind that. I could go into Glaceon and Garchomp. That could be good. I could definitely see him leading Raikou, so maybe I might do this. I might go into Gardevoir and Garchomp for turn one. I do like that. Is he going to lead the Scissor? That, that would be a problem. That would definitely be a problem if he leads the Scissor. He does lead the Scissor. We would not like that one bit. Not one bit, but I definitely want to bring Glaceon. I definitely want to bring Glaceon. Hmm. What is my play? You know what? We'll bring in Heatran. 
I could bring heat. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think he's going to bring the raccoon. So, you know, we're going to go in with telepathy, uh, Gardevoir, Glaceon in the back end. And then, did we just bring a Bomba Snow? With that Focus Ash? But I, I kind of like Scissor. Or Heatran could be good. I think Heatran would be a little bit better to counter up on a Scissor. Super effective up against that, uh, that Tan Growth. And we have a uh, Flash Fire. So, it's Arcanine Camera. Really heal. So, I'm digging it. I'm digging a lot. Let's see who he leads. Let's see who this guy goes into. Is it Raikou? Arcanine and Raikou. Yo, great lead for me. Loving it, yo. EQ freely. It's super effective on both. I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it all day. Let's do it. Let's do it. He could burn us. He's going to put us minus one, but we do outspeed him, which is really, really good. We do outspeed him. Do I take out the Arcanine? What's my plan here? EQ 100% coming out. No need to Swords Dance. Actually, we could Swords Dance up. But I think he's just going to burn us. I think he's just going to burn us, so we might as well get off some damage and go into a Psychic here. Double down to Arcanine. I'm really liking double down to Arcanine here. Second comes out here. He does not protect any of his Pokemon. Let's do it. Big old Choice Scarf. Woo! Big old damage there with the Choice Scarf. Big old damage with the Choice Scarf. He's going to eat up on his Citrus Berry, or Guava Berry, Figgy Berry. What berry are you rocking with? Mago Berry. Mago Berry comes out here, and this thing's going to set up a Reflect. I'm kind of upset with that. Not even going to lie, I'm kind of upset with that. Lepathy is going to come out here. And I think maybe we can kill this Arcanine. Make it happen. We do not. That's rough news. The Reflect definitely helping him out here. Do not burn my Garchomp. Mmm. Mmm. Hate this game. Okay, so. What's my play here now? What is my play? Definitely just let Garchomp stay until he dies. We have the Glaceon in the back, which I really, really like. But I just think going into an EQ is really, really good for us. So we'll go into EQ, and then I'll Psychic over on the Raikou. Because an EQ, even if we're burned, intimidated, and a Reflect should still be able to KO that uh, Arcanine there. It should be able to do that much damage. It's real tiny. But Psychic comes out here. Brings this thing down to one. This thing's going to set up screens. The screens are set up. They're out and about here. I really like where we're sitting here. That should be a double kill, right? Raikou's definitely dead. Arcanine, please die this. Thank you. Big old double kill. He has screens up. Garchomp's dead out the battle. But he did exactly what it was. I really only brought him in to counter up on Raikou. Because Raikou is so, so strong. It's super, super strong. It is too strong, to be honest with you. But... Garchomp's there. It did what it needs to do. And does this guy... Did he bring Scissor? If he did, we have this one. We're, we're thriving. We have our Heatran in the back. And he's going to bring Tyranitar. It's fine. So Tyranitar's going to set Sandstream. And we have Sandbale. And he's going to bring out... Is this uh, Gastrodon? It is going to be Gastrodon. Okay. I'm trying to think how we can go into this one. Who's our bigger threat here? I think our bigger threat is going to be this Gastrodon. So you know what? I think EQ might just be a play. Or we could just Dragon Claw. I mean, it really don't matter. I could Sword Sands. Maybe try to get something off with this. Might as well. Sword Dance. Oh my god, I wish we could have switched our moves. And we're just going to go into it here. Let's just double down in this slot. Psychic like coming out here. Gastron's a pain in the neck. Let's deal some damage to this little booger. Ice Queen definitely helping him out. And Sword Dance coming out here. Just give us an attack boost because, you know, we're not going to do any damage without a Sword Dance at least up. The so Sword Dance is going to poke out here. And what's he going to go for here? Dragon Dance. Oh, no. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please, yo. I beg of you. Please leave me alone. And Muddy Water's gonna poke. Garchomp with that Sand is gonna dodge. And what do we do? EQ, I guess. I guess we EQ. I guess we EQ. I would love to switch. I would love to swap. But it's just like, mm. Actually, do we swap? I said we swap the Gardevoir. I say I, um, I want to go for the EQ, but we're not gonna do that. We shouldn't Dragon Call into you because I do think uh, Gastron might protect here. I'm going to swap into the heat train here. I'm going to swap to the heat train here. Definitely my play. So I would love to get Gardevoir out of here. Just to choice Scarf it into a fairy move. Because Heatar is a big threat on the field right now. It can one-tap my Glaceon easily. It's just it's just a problem. He ends up not protecting the Gastronaut. We get off a little bit of damage on the Titar. The Titar is just going to straight up crunch here. And take me out, right? No, nope, Garchomp beats. And we'll be able to survive a burn. I mean, unless this thing's going for muddy water. Just goes for a recover. Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay. So Titar can protect here. I think we might just protect our Heatran and let him go down. Drop an EQ. Because I don't want him going into a protect here with Titar and then going into like a muddy water or something and doing big damage onto us. So we'll just do this. We'll just protect. I don't think he's protecting though. Hopefully he's not D dancing again. That would definitely be scary. EQ is going to come out here before Garchomp goes out. And do I bring out Glaceon? It's a real question. We might not even show off Glaceon. Oh, we got a crit. I love it. We're bringing out Glaceon now. I love it, yo. We got a lucky crit. We got a lucky crit. Get out of here, T-Tar. Get out my face, dude. Not dealing with a Dragon Dance, T-Tar. 
Thank the Lord we got that. Earth Power's gonna come in with the block. Garchomp's gonna go down here, but we're just gonna bring out Glaceon now. And I think this match is GG's, right? 100%. Light work. It's light work for you, boy. Didn't really get the shell off Glaceon, but, you know, I think he does cancel battle. But we'll, we'll get Glaceon out there in battles number two and battle number three. Faux show. Faux show. Glaceon pokes out here. I can just drop a nice, lovely little Ice Beam because, you know, it's neutral. It's just normally effective. And we'll just Flash Cannon, I guess. Maybe to try to get that special defense drop. But like I said, I think this guy just cancels battle, right? He does not. Glaceon, how much damage are you going to do? Let's see. Okay. Through, through the Light Screen. You guys got to remember, Light Screen is out and about. That ain't too shabby on a neutral move. No special defense drop. That stinks. And this thing's going to drop an Earth Power. We still got our Shuka Berry. Lovely little Shuka Berry. So we should be able to soak up pretty easily here. Awesome. I actually might have been able to eat it regardless. Because that half the damage. And that didn't even do half of our health. But another Ice Beam's going to come through here. Alongside with a Flash Cannon. And I don't think it's going to be able to do enough. He might recover. He might recover unless we freeze him. Please, John, give me a freeze, girl. Nope, no freeze. Flash Cannon come, going to come out here. And no KO. Do not recover. Do not recover. This buttery biscuit. This guy's just making his life worse. But at least we're getting to use Glaceon here. At least we're getting to use Glaceon here. I love it. Sandstorm does subside. It does subside. And now we just come into... I, is Ice Beam play or do I just throw this thing to sleep? He's going to recover then, right? But I have a feeling we're going to get a nice little freeze here. Actually, let's just taunt this thing. How about I do that? How about I just taunt it? So it just knocks its little games off. There's that, and no freeze, and taunt coming out of here. No more recovers for you. So that's definitely GG's. 100% GG's. I think he's going into another another recover. Get out of my face, dude. I'm not playing with you. Reflect wears off. Go into an Ice Beam, and Ice Beam and Flash Cannon should be able to do it. But now we should definitely cancel battle, right? It's not, dude. This guy, this guy's relentless. He is relentless. Ice Beam comes out here, puts him on one. He ran out speed. Flash Cannon's going to come out here. Bang, yo. Big old victory in battle number one with this Glaceon team. First battle went pretty well. Didn't get the show off Glaceon too much, so I'm hoping I get to do it here in battle number two. We're going up against a really strong meta team right here. He's got Raikou, Entei, Togekiss, Garchomp, Skizzy, Skizor, and Gary the Gyarados. Okay, um, I could just go straight into weather, but he might lead Entei. If he does lead Entei, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. So how could I go into this one? How should I do it? I think Heatran's going to be a great call here. I do kind of just want to lead Weather Squad, or I could go Glaceon alongside with maybe like Garchomp here. Because Garchomp's really good. It is definitely really good. So I definitely want to bring Garchomp. I want to bring a Bomb Snow just to set the snow. Not the snow, the hail. And then I like Heatran. I really do like Heatran. I do like Heatran. Heatran's really nice. Counters up on the Scissor. Counters up on the Togekiss. Get some work done. And Entei can't hit him with a Flash Fire or Extreme Speed. We would just soak up. So I'm digging this a lot. I'm really liking this. Hmm. Even though I like Gar uh, Gardevoir. But we have the Ice to kind of counter up on the... On the Garchomp. Yeah, so I'm liking these four. Let's lock it in. Let's really grab ourselves a win here. But if you guys notice, my voice is a little bit off. It's a little raspy. It's a little, it's, it's, it's feeling all right. I have a sore throat a little bit. Kind of just from being loud. I went to the Sixers game with the boys. Ended up going out to the bar with the boys. Just having a good time. Just having a good time. So I lost my voice a little bit. Because, you know, jeans gets a little loud sometimes. But I always have a good time when I go out. So that's why I kind of like have a little... My voice is off a little bit. But he goes into Ente alongside with Raikou. And I think in this case, we could just protect and drop a big old EQ. No problem, right? It's no problem to drop this. It is no problem to just to drop the EQ. And this is exactly why I want to lead Garchomp. He has the Entei and the Raikou, and he let them both. So I do like this, yo. Garchomp's been ripping with his EQs, yo. Last battle, we did it on the Arcanine and the Raikou. Now we're going to try to get off onto this uh, Entei and this Raikou. So hopefully none of them protect here, and we get off just a free EQ. And he's going to Volt Switch out. We get the huge block. That's huge block. He has to stay in, and EQ's going to come out. Let's do it, yo. Big old damage coming after these boys. I'm loving this. I'm loving this, yo. Bringing these guys down to one. And what is Entei going for? Is the real question. Entei's going for Sacred Fire over on the Garchomp. Garchomp should be able to soak. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Thank the Lord. Okay, so he doesn't burn me. Uh, In this case... Hmm. Yeah, let's just Ice Beam over into Raikou. And then just go into a Dragon Call straight on to Entei. I mean, he might Volt Switch out, but that's all good if he does. I think he does. He is going to Volt Switch out on the Glaceon. He just hard swaps the Entei. I'm with it, yo. I'm with it. He's going to go into Gyarados. So, Intimidate's going to poke here. That's fine. Why is this Gyarados spelled like that? Gara and then Dos. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. Attack dro drop comes out for our Glaceon and our Garchomp, but it doesn't affect our Glaceon. And this thing's going to Volt Switch a Pivot. I'm cool with that. We soak up actually really well. 
We took up really well. And what Pokemon has taken Ice Beam? He's going to swap back into Entei on this slot? I doubt it. I think he's going to show his fourth final Pokemon. And Glaceon's going to get Thriving here. We shall see. I could bring out Obama Snow and get out Snow Cloak if I wanted to. Because Garchomp is intimidated. So that might be our play after this. He's going to bring out Scissor. Okay, so Scissor comes out here. We have that Heat Train in the back, which is really good. Bad Claw is going to poke here, and we're going to see what he does. I do not want to bring out a Bomb of Snow now. Ice Beam's going to fly. Uh, and I think a Bull Punch is going to come in there next turn. Give me a Freeze, though. Give me a Freeze. Give me a Freeze. No Freeze, man. Whack. Okay. I could definitely protect here. I could definitely protect. I think Protect might be your player. And then... Hmm. What is your play? What is your play? I think we just Protect, try to get off some damage with the Garchomp. And then next turn, we hard swap into a Bomb of Snow and maybe try to get Snow Cloak to dodge the Bullet Punch. Oh yeah, I think that's our play. What's he going to read my Protect? He might read my Protect, but it's all good. Uh, what do I go into from here? Protect EQ? Or do I just Dragon Claw? I think we EQ here and just get off some damage. Actually, I'm not really worried about Scissor because I have I have the Heat Train in the back, right? Yeah, we have a Heat Train in the back. So I'm not worried about that. I think I'm more worried about this uh, Gyarados right here. I might as well just Dragon Claw up on it and just get off as much damage. Because once the Heatran gets in here, if Gyarados is off the field, we can take out Scissor. No problem. No problem. Dragon Claw's going to poke. Bolt Punch is not coming through here. I think he reads my Protect. That's a nice Dragon Claw. And this thing is going for D-Dance. Uh-oh. I'm terrified. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. And this thing's going... Oh, my God. Lord! Oh, my Lord. Okay, uh... We have to get Snow Cloak out here. We have to get Snow Cloak out here. We have to get Snow Cloak out here. Okay, let's go here. I'm just gonna Ice Beam on the Gyarados. Maybe I can take him out if we can dodge. And then get my Obama Snow out here. Dude, this is terrifying. This is, dude, this is scary right here. This is scary. A D-Dance Gyarados and a Swords Dance Scissor. Bruh, two of the strongest Pokemon in this format set up with their boost. In, uh, with their boost. Plus two on attack for Scissor. Plus one on speed for Gyarados, plus one on attack. Come on, Snow Cloak. I need you here, baby. Snow Cloak, dodge this bullet punch. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're dodging all day. Bang, 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 bang. Run it. Run it. Waterfall comes out here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We soak. We soak. Glaceon, take out this Gyarados. Please take out the Gyarados. I would love you forever. I love you forever. Oh, my lord. Yo, your boy coming in with them, please. Snow Cloak, totally clutching up. What a play. What a play, yo. Snow Cloak coming in clutch. He has to bring out his Raikou, which is his last Pokemon. And I think we just double down into it. It's so like I said, 1v1 should be totally fine. I'm not worried. I told you. I'm not worried about that Scizor with Heatran on, on the field. So ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. So let's just go here. And mm, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll Blizzard. That's probably my best bet, right? Probably my best bet. It's 100% accuracy in this hail. Let's see if we can get something going here. But I wonder what he's going to do here. He's probably going to outspeed. I think he's going to outspeed me, hit me with a bullet punch. Or maybe he's thinking I'm protecting. Ooh. He might think that I'm protecting. Which I kind of hope. I'm just hoping at least like one of my Pokemon can get off a shot. But we should be thriving here because I know Garchomp outspeeds are both. He's going to go extreme speed. We should soak that up. Oh, we do not. Wow. Wow. And bullet punch can come through your snow cloak. Come out again. No. Okay, so you're dead. You're dead. Okay. I'm cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. Okay, so in this case, we Dragon Claw and Heat Wave, right? Dragon Claw on the Entei. Might go into extreme speed, but it can't really do anything. Bull Punch might be able to do a little bit of work. But is Bull Punch going to be able to take out... No, we're, we're fine. We should have this win in the bag. We should have this win in the bag. Because even if he protects, we're, we're, th we're thriving. Dragon Claw into Entei, Heat Wave across the board. That thing could be flash fire. It could definitely be flash fire. But if it is, it is. That's totally fine. Because we're flash fire too. He can't hit us with a fire move. So we'll do this. He's either flash fire or inner focus, right? And they learns inner focus, I believe. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. Yo, Glaceon clutching up with a snow cloak dodge. That was huge. Scissor ends up protecting. I'm fine with that. Is he double protecting? Stream speak on poke here. We eat. Yeah, that's GG's. All day, baby. Dragon Claw pokes higher. And take it out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. I think he, he's trying to, like, extreme speed and maybe buff it and turn it into, like, a 1v1. Actually, dude, if he would have killed my Garchomp there, we would have probably lost. 
that thing was flash fire. If not, if it was a flash fire, I think he trans able to kill. And then we're fine. But yo, we good. We good. Snow Cloak Glaceon, MVP of this match. Glad I got to show that off. I'm glad I got to show that off. Come in and dodge a swords in. Wait a minute. Does this guy have six? Oh, he still has Raikou. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I'm terrified. Uh, Protect my boy. Protect Chomp. Don't heat wave. I said we keep chomping. I said we just have chomp slap. Let's do it. I think we still should be fine. We have to have chomp at least doing something, you know? Because if not, say, say say we lead chomp in here. I think two buffets can kill him. So say we protect and he reads to protect. And then he just protects the next turn, doubles up on it. Our guard chomp could go down the buffets all day. Dude, I totally forgot about the Raikou, man. What's going to happen here? Bull Punch going to come through here. We're dead here. And Raikou cannot kill my Heatran, right? Raikou cannot kill my Heatran. There's just no way. I swear, if we lose this one, I'm going to cry. Light screen. <laughs> that ain't doing nothing. Heat Wave just has to connect on both these guys. Do it. Run it. Let's go. 2-0, baby. Get out my face. Get out my face. Like I said, once we get that Gyarados gone, Heatran should come out here and win us the battle easily. And that's exactly what happened. We're 2-0 with Glaceon team. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Last battle with this Glaceon team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We've been playing so, so well with this team. Cannot wait to use it again. But, yo, that last battle, that dodge with the bullet punch was huge. That was huge. Basically won us the match, and it was really clutch for me to go into that uh, hail and get that snow cloak popping. But we're going up against... Ooh. Rampardos. Rampardos team and Lucario. Two Pokemon that I just recently showcased in BDSP. Very, very strong uh, physical attacker with Rampardos, but it's a glass cannon. So a Pokemon like Scissor can definitely come in here and just rip through it. So I'm 100% bringing Scissor. But he has no way of changing weather. He does have Trick Room, which could work pretty well. But I'm going to go into Abomasone Glaceon, bring Scissor in the back. And then last but not least, who do I bring in here? Gardevoir could be solid. Gardevoir can be pretty solid here just with that speed. Kind of can just roll through Pokemon. But I kind of lean towards Garchomp or Heatran. I don't know why I am, though. And I think I'm going to lock it down. I think I'm going to lock it down. Let's lock down Heatran. Get double steel. Actually, do we want double steel? But do we really need the fire? No, we really don't need the fire. Let me withdraw him because, you know, Ice is super effective tank growth, too. So we're totally thriving with that. We do not need Heatran. We do not need him. I think I think Garchomp's going to come in here. Yeah, yeah let's, get, let's get Garchomp up in here. Right, Garchomp. Mm, I like Gardevoir, yo. Gardevoir's awesome, but that Lucario's kind of scaring me. So let's go into Garchomp. Let's get ripping up against it and look for a win here in battle number three. We have Glaceon and Bombasno getting the lead. Hopefully, we can just roll out with both of those. I really do like the moveset on Glaceon. I haven't used Yawn yet, so maybe we'll Yawn a Pokemon here. He's going to go into Lucario. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little tough. Ooh, that's a little tough. Okay. Uh, hmm. Could protect. Could protect my, uh, my Glaceon here. Much I, I want to yawn, but I have to protect Glaceon here. Let's protect and get off a of Blizzard here. Or I could just Energy Ball. I don't want Blizzard, but or I could Icy Wind. Let's just Energy Ball. Let's get some damage off on Patrick, yo. I love that name, yo. I love the name Patrick because it looks like Patrick Star. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's see what this guy does. The Lucario, like I said, totally scares me. Totally scares me. So good thing I did not bring Gardevoir. Good thing I did not bring Gardevoir. That steel, steel really does the ice teams dirty. So in a format like this, Scizor is like crazy strong. So you will not see a lot of hail teams. As you guys can tell, most teams I bring Scizor up. Because he's just so good. He counters up everything. And he's resist like everything. Just a beast. Follow me. He's going to come through. Oh, on the, ooh, okay. So his trick room definitely popping. He followed me. I could have yawned. I could have yawned. Energy balls can come out here. It's going to be not very effective. He's going to be soaking up. Uh, And there's trick room. The trick room's out and about. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I do? I go for some freezes, maybe? I could swap out the Glaceon, save for the back end. Hmm. Hmm. I think Shadow Ball's gonna be play. Let's go into a Shadow Ball here. Right into you, and then I think we'll double down into you. I do not see him protecting. And then if Follow Me comes out here, we're just gonna hit up onto this Lucario. I'm kind of with it. Let's see, how slow is this Lucario? That's a real question. How slow could this Lucario be? I think I think a Bomber Snow will go second. Obviously, the Slow King will go first. But I'm loving this guy's going in the trick room. I'm loving it. It's something cool. It's something different. Considering the last battle we went up against just like a full-blown meta team. It's nice to see a nice little off-meta trick room squad here. The flame... Ooh, Patrick with flamethrower. We have focus ash, so... 
We're fine here. That's four times super effective. We soak up all day with that focus ash. Focus ash popping. Um, can we actually take out this slow bro here? We might be able to. Lucario should be fast on the field. You bang, you get some damage, and an energy ball should be able to fly out here and KO this thing. All day, baby. All day, yo, later, Patrick. So I'm cool with Glaceon going down. I think he does go into like a meteor mash or some type of steel type move into my uh Glaceon here. Let's see. Oh, he goes into a final gambit. And yo, Snow Cloak is popping. Mwah, I'm loving it. And it's so good because he trick him and Lucario's the fastest in the trick room. So I'm loving that. Maybe we can take him out next turn. Then he go into Cabolt. Who's Cabolt? You and you, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Uh, I need Scissor out here. Attention, Scissor, I need you. I'm just gonna protect you then. I'm gonna protect you, and I'm just gonna go into an energy ball here. I think he drops a rock slide and he uh, picks up like a double KO. If I didn't protect my Glaceon, so I think by doing this, we can let a Bomb go down and then force uh, some big damage out with that Scissor and just take out Ramparos and then Ice Beam over into Tangrowth. Let's see what happens here. Rock slide. Yep, there it is. Like I said, if I left Glaceon in there, yo, Glaceon would be dead. Glaceon would get absolutely ripped on. But a Bomb is gonna drop out here. I'm gonna bring out Scissor. Wait, I brought Scissor. Please tell me I brought Scissor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was just like, yeah, yeah, we have to bring Scissor in. Yeah, so I'm going to bring out Scissor and we're going to get rocking. Skizzy Skizzor. Loving it. Because Bullet Punch can easily one-tap that thing. And then we can Ice Beam. I don't think Tangrowth can really take out my Glaceon in one shot. Put it all day. B Punch into Ice Beam. Maybe a double KO here. Maybe a double KO. We'll see. Tangrowth's kind of bulky, so it's a little tough. But I know. I know Rampardos cannot eat up A. Such a glass cannon. He's gonna. Oh, you buttery biscuit. Please, yo, Snow Cloak, dodge this. Dodge this Rock Slide here. You definitely can't because Rock Slide's low action. Come on, Snow Cloak. Rock Slide coming out here. It connects. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Oh, my lord. We gotta waste our trick room. We gotta just protect, protect, protect. Glaceon goes down. Dude, no. God dang, Rage Powder doing me dirty. All right. Um, I think he's gonna Rage Powder again, right? That's rough. That's rough, dude. That's so rough. Okay, uh, bu -bu -bum. who do I go into? I have to go into Garchomp. We might lose this one. Ah! I wanted that perfect record. I want that. It's definitely still doable. I wish I knew how many turns were left in Trick Room. Um, hmm. But we have to protect. So we can definitely eat up some Rock Slides. So you know what? I'm gonna go into EQ here. I'm just gonna protect you. But I do think this thing Rage Powders yet again. I do think that this thing Rage Powders game man i hate this game god dang rage powder do me dirty this is our protects please just rage powder just go into a rage powder here let's see what you're doing buddy those squidward user yeah squidward <laughs> squidward and patrick on his team that's hilarious there's the rage powder he's gonna go for an ice beam oh my lord this thing's rocking with ice beam we should be able to easily eat that yachi berry that thing that's a special attack move that's a tasty snack beautiful 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 eq should be able to roll out here say rampartos get on out my face make it happen Make it happen, yo. Garchomp's been doing good in today's video. He's been ripping with the EQs. Yes, sir, yo. Rampardo's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, so he's gonna pull out his last Pokemon. And I am curious to what it can be. I'm curious to what it could be. I could actually protect Garchomp here. Because I think there's one more turn left in Trick Room. Oh, it actually ends. I love it. I love it. Okay, Trick Room ends. Uh, what do we do from here? He's gonna send out his final Pokemon, which is the Lucario. So Lucario's back out and about. Um, what do I do here? I think Claw could definitely come out here. I'm just gonna bullet punch. I'm gonna bullet punch up into Lucario. Lucario's rather fast, so I'd rather get some chip damage on him. Bruh, this one's coming down to the wire. To the wire. We would have had it easily without Rage Powder, because like I said, bullet punch would have taken out Rampardos. Ice Beam would have flew through and probably taken out Tangra. That's some big damage. Glaceon is a great special attacker. Hits really, really hard. It's just move pool's a little... It's lacking a little bit. This move pool's definitely lacking. But I actually wanted to build it defensively with leftovers and have a uh, snow heal. What's that uh, ability where it heals up in snow? Ice dish, something along those lines. But it looked really good. He's going to protect Squidward. And what's going to happen here? He's going to an extreme speed. Can we soak? All day, baby. All day. Bull Punch coming out here. How much damage is Bull Punch really going to do? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Dragon Claw's gonna poke. I think EQ's gonna be your play. Right? Because we should be able to eat up another extreme speed. So by going into EQ here, 
and protecting because I could see Bullet Punch flying towards my Scissor. Could see that happening. So if we connect the CQ, it's GG. It should be GG, right? Because he cannot kill my unless unless he straight up just goes after my guard chop. Zucaria might be faster than guard chop. It might not be. We'll see. We shall see. Because an extreme speed won't kill it. That did not nearly do enough damage. Unless it gets a crit. Goes extreme speed and we oh there it is. Goes in the scissor. Goes in the scissor. That should be GG's. Lucario, get on out my face. We just pull punch next turn. Perfect record for your boy. I've been loving BDSP, man. BDSP's just been so much fun. The format's great. The format is great. There's definitely a meta to it, but it, it's easy to use like off meta Pokemon. Like I'm using Glaceon and Bombso. Mix in with a few meta Pokemon. The teams are still fire. They're really, really good. Giga Drain comes out here, and that's gonna deal some damage. Oh, he actually might beat me. Hold up! I think he beat me. I, don't th I think he could survive a bull punch. That Giga Drain might have just might have just won the match. I might have said perfect record too early. All right, actually, I think we just straight up outspeed this guy. I'm gonna try it. We do. X comes out. Okay, now it's GG's. Get out my face. Get out my face, Squidward. Get out my face, you slow little booger. Perfect record. Like I said, 3-0 for today's video. Glaceon, Glaceon, Glaceon. What a fun Pokemon to use. I absolutely loved it. More importantly, we dominated with this Pokemon. Grabbed ourselves a perfect record. Got to show it off to his fullest potential. Do some big damage. Show off the Snow Cloak. And showcase the rest of his team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.